Hello everyone, welcome to the video we have all been waiting for. Actually, to be completely honest, I feel like every single YouTuber on YouTube has done this video before me. I'm feeling very left out, so here I am. Post lockdown Primark call, surprise! So I feel like I need to start this video with a big apology that this has taken me so long to get a Primark call up. It's been open for three weeks now and here I am. I feel like a little bit of a disgrace, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been to three different Primarks, stood in three different queues, sweated three times with the Primark anxiety and I feel like I've now gathered like a nice amount of stuff for a haul, but I'm not gonna lie, like it just was a little bit underwhelming. I was expecting all the new new Primark summer 2020 but instead i got the old old primark spring 2020 so my darlings before we get into the haul this video is very kindly sponsored by shop tagger if you have been with me for a while you will know i have worked with shop tagger loads in the past i have been using shop tagger so much throughout lockdown it's actually a little bit ridiculous but that being said shop tagger has also helped me save so much money i've had loads of birthdays in lockdown so it's been an absolute godsend for them so once you click the link in the description box this is the desktop version so all you need to do to add the shop tagger button to your chrome is head over to shop tagger click the add to chrome button add extension and then it will literally appear in the top right hand corner so once you've made an account for shop tagger you can browse through thousands of stores once you've selected a store shop tagger will actually redirect you to their website and then once you've found your chosen item you simply click the little shop tagger button in the top right hand corner then there's a little button here which asks when you want shop tagger to notify you i usually just click any price change because any discount is good and then you can also add it to your personalized list which i'll show you in a moment and then you just hit save and it will save it to your account but the lists are actually one of my favorite features on shop tagger you can really organize your shopping lists on here i have one for birthdays for christmas for january sales for my home and it's really easy to create a new list as well i'm actually going to create one now for summer 2020 where i'm going to add all of the pieces that i like hoping that they go into sale sometime soon and another one of my favorite features which saves me so much money is this little button right here at the checkout what shop tagger will actually do is scan the internet for coupon codes you can save so much money by doing this so instead of searching for a coupon code before you shop you do it whilst it's in your basket and as you can see here it's searching the internet to see if there are any white company discounts and voila i've saved two pounds on a candle literally from clicking one button so my loves shop tagger are currently running a giveaway which is so easy to enter you can win a purchase of your choice which can be up to one thousand us dollars which works out about 800 pounds in british pounds all you have to do is download the shop tagger app and also add the shop tagger extension to your google chrome browser all of those links will be of course in the description box below then you need to save one item from this haul which i will also link below and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway and the winner will be announced on the 31st of july good luck to everyone like i said everything will be linked in the description box below along with a direct link to shop tagger you've eaten a lot during lockdown and you're not feeling your best and you just want to throw something on and just feel comfy but still look pretty then this is the haul for you okay first up we have this gorgeous off-shoulder white dress it has like a little sleeve this comes down to like my elbow and then it's almost maxi i got this in a size 10 and it was 18 pounds this was kind of in the you know the trending section of Primark. I always find that tends to be a little bit more expensive. Okay, dress number one. I feel a little bit like Mother Mary. Just really don't know how I feel about this. I think it's it's very flowy. Um, it would be lovely and cool like on a hot day, but I just feel like it completely drowns me. I love the off shoulder. I've got the wrong kind of bra on. I couldn't find my strapless bra anywhere, so I've just got one with like the straps pulled down a little bit. It'd be a good bloated dress, but I do feel like I'm going to some kind of 
Christopher Robin tea party or something. Do you know what I mean? Okay, next I picked up this gorgeous play suit. Now, I feel like I've seen so many people buy this. I think this is like the most popular thing that I've seen people buy. I love that this is like a thin material so you can wear it on a really hot day and you're not gonna be sweaty. It also has a tie detail so you can knit yourself in at the waist and these cute little tortoiseshell buttons. I got this in a size 10 and it was 13 pounds, which I think is incredible for a really nice little play suit. Okay, this is the play suit on. I think this is actually really, really, really cute. It feels really comfortable. I kind of wish I'd got an eight, um, purely because, I don't know if you can see properly, but the crotch is literally, like my crotch ends here and the crotch is literally so low but maybe that'll be nice in the summer maybe it'd be nice to have a little bit of air in those areas in the summer um love the little tie detail i think that's really nice i think the neckline's really pretty and yeah it's a really nice cool outfit i just wish i'd got it in a little bit of a smaller size because i feel like it's quite roomy um but then again i don't know if it would look right if it was any tighter actually let me try and roll it up and see what that looks like. Okay, so I've rolled the legs up. I prefer that length. Like, I feel like it would be better if it was just a little bit shorter. Um, I'm not overly keen on, like, a longer short. So Primark actually had a lot of, like, new style jeans. But I'm not going to lie. I don't like wearing jeans in the winter. So I sure as shit don't like wearing them in the summer. Um, I just think they're so hot. I like to kind of stick to... A very thin floaty material in the summer because my body swells in the summer honestly like my ankle swell my neck swells basically i would like to know how girls look nice in the summer because i just look like a sweaty slug like i'm just hideous in the summer that being said I picked up a pair of jeans, but not like tight fitting jeans. I picked up some mom jeans. White mom jeans are a really nice piece for those days that aren't as hot, that I feel like you could wear with a really nice like blouse or floaty top. Um, I got these in a size 10. They were 15 pounds. So I love the jeans. I wish I'd got them in an eight though, because again, there's quite a lot of excess material around the groin. I wish there was such thing as a size nine, because I feel like a size nine, would actually be like the most perfect fitting jean. Okay, the first loungewear set that I got is my favorite thing in this entire haul. This was actually one of the first things that I saw and I was like, oh, I love it. This is like a toweling material. It's so, so soft. I got it in a size medium because they didn't have a small. I do usually quite like to get joggers or anything like that in a small because I do find they come up quite big. They've got pockets which we love. And I also picked up the matching top which is like a super oversized slouchy hoodie. It's full length, it's not cropped, it has a hood and yeah I just think this is going to look so cute. So the bottoms were £10 and then the top doesn't have a label. Oh, yes it does and then the top was 10 pounds so 20 pounds for a really cute loungewear set i think is amazing okay this is by far the coziest little thing i've ever put on my body this is the towel loungewear this is what the hoodie looks like it's nice and oversized so soft i love like the baggy sleeves this is just so cozy it feels really lightweight as well like it feels not hot at all you know like normally a loungewear set is really hot i feel like this is just the right stretchiness ready for me to eat ready for me to get a little food baby going on i feel like these are food baby ready next i picked up a big cozy sweatshirt in this beautiful like creamy color this has got a zip detail on the bottom um it doesn't actually have a label in it so i have no idea how much this was i think it was about 10 to 13 pounds i find the sweatshirts are usually that amount um, I got it in a size large and this is so cozy on the inside, like it's so soft. I feel like this would be cute for like a slightly colder summer's day. I love these dip, uh, dip these zip details on the side because you can kind of have it really baggy at the bottom, which I think is actually really nice. I don't really like sweaters that kind of come in at the bottom because I think they can sit quite weird. Um, especially with cycling shorts, I like to kind of have something over my bum. Um, and yeah, I think this is really cozy. So with this jumper, I've just got on some white little cycling shorts. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I wear these so much in the summer with like big t-shirts or big sweaters. I think it's a nice little cute combo. My next set is this beautiful marl cream color. 
and this is a zip up hoodie i love to wear these zipped up off the shoulder with like a cute little top underneath i think that looks really nice and i got it in an extra large so it's nice and oversized and it was seven pounds which i think is unreal for like a really nice oversized zip up hoodie don't really know where i was going with that and i also got the matching bottoms which were really thin material so i feel like they are perfect for the warmer months um they don't have cuffed like tighter detail on the bottom but it is turned up so i feel like they could still look really cute with a pair of slides or like flip-flops or something like that i actually feel like i like this more than the towely one this one is just so nice i can't believe how cheap this was so the bottoms i was a little bit unsure how these would actually fit because they weren't cuffed at the bottom honestly they're such a nice fitting jogger i love the long pockets i think they're kind of like make the waist look longer and oh my god it's such a nice fit i also love the oversized hoodie like i said you could wear this undone with a little white top underneath you could wear it off the shoulder and then i also have a bag of like little essential bits um which i'm not going to try on because they're just kind of like vest tops and stuff so i picked up a few of these little strappy tops i got them in a size extra small and they are one pound 80 like that's unreal isn't it i think these are perfect for just going to bed in with a pair of like jersey shorts that's pretty much what i'm wearing every night at the moment i just think it's nice and cool but it's like comfy as well i noticed these were in like the underwear section but they have the same little strappy top oh secret possession the secret possession range but they also have like a bit of padding in there the original strappy top I would never wear out and about because I feel like my boobs are just here, there and everywhere. Um, but I feel like with this one, I would potentially wear this with like a nice oversized pair of wide leg trousers, something like that, because you've got a little bit of extra support in there. And it also saves you wearing a bra so you won't have the bra straps on show. And this was £4. And then I also got some little grey jersey, little plain tops as well, £1.80 again. Okay, I know these aren't going to fit me. <laughs> but i just had to buy them i do this with so many things if i see a nice pair of shoes i'm a size four but if they are in a size six and i love them best believe i will be buying them and i'll be making them fit me i'll pad them out i'll do anything so these shorts i can't even explain how soft these are but they're thin and oh my god they're ultimate cozy summer vibes these are in a size medium but i know they're going to be too big um, but then again, could actually just pull them to be smaller. They were only £5 and I just think these are going to be so snugly to wear. And then, I actually forgot about these until just now. I picked up these ribbed knitted like leggings with a cuff. So they're like a legging jogger. But how cosy do these look? They're so soft. I love the button detail here. I think that's so cute. I got them in a size small and they were... How much were you? eight pounds so cute and then it would be absolutely illegal for me to leave primark without an oversized primark disney top i have to buy a new one of these every single time i go in when i'm 80 years old i'm still gonna be wearing these i feel like the inner child in me just can't resist an oversized disney t-shirt i just think they're so cute and this was eight pounds eight these used to be five. I used to rave about the five pound Disney t-shirts and they're now eight. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm still going to buy them. You can't put a price on an oversized Disney t-shirt. Oh, we've got a runaway swimsuit that was mixed up in my loungewear little collection. So, wasn't overly keen on the swimwear. Like, I'm not going to lie. Usually Primark have got unreal swimwear pieces, but... I just wasn't mad about anything. I think it's because I haven't got a holiday booked. I was like, do you know what? I don't even want to look. I don't want to look at the beach towels. Don't want to look at the kimonos because I'm not going anywhere. I love to wear swimsuits as a body with like a nice pair of denim shorts. I find swimsuits have got that extra little bit of support in there. So you don't have to wear a bra. And yeah, I just think they can look really, really nice. So I picked up this one. It's got one shoulder. This strap actually comes off as well if you do just want it to be one shoulder ribbed and it feels really really lovely material it was 10 pounds i got it in a size eight and yeah i think this would look really really nice with like a pair of denim shorts okay everyone my shoes are in a bit of a pickle 
Right. I have been longing for Primark to be open purely for their sandals and their flip flops. It's been so hard to find some like nice sandals this summer. I just realised I picked these up in wide feet and I've got like the narrowest feet ever. I feel really sad. Anyway, about these is how cute. I love that they're like straw. Like I just want to be covered in straw this summer. Like I want straw bags, straw hats, straw belts, straw shoes. I just think they're really beachy and like holiday -y, you know? Um, unfortunately, these are, unfortunately these aren't gonna fit, but the thought was there. These were eight pounds and I just think they're so pretty. Next, I picked up these tanned little slider sandals. I feel like I liked these in the shop, but now I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. What do you think? I do this a lot in Primark. Like I feel very under pressure when I'm in the shop and I'm throwing it in my little blue basket, which may I add, those blue baskets, why do they have those elastic handles on? Like, aren't they the most annoying things ever to try and hold? Like, I had one on each arm. You can imagine what I looked like strolling through Primark. One on each arm, trying to put stuff in, and they were just sliding and slipping around all over the place. Very annoying. Next, I picked up my OGs. Primark flip-flops are the best. If you buy any other flip-flops, I feel like you're missing a trick here because these are 90p. 90, 90 p not even a pound and then last but definitely not least i've actually been wearing these these are one of the purchases i made when i went to the primark three weeks ago and couldn't find anything um so they are a little bit battered now so i probably wouldn't say these are the most like sustainable shoe um but i think they're really really cute they've got like a little toe hole here very plain black leather they look amazing with like i was genuinely gonna say a black wide leg trouser and I, I'm pretty sure that I've said that like three times now. Right, we're on to the random bits and bobs, the till purchases, you know, all of those bits. First of all, we have got some cotton wool pads because if you go to Primark and you don't pick up some cotton wool pads, why have you gone to Primark? Um, they didn't have the big oval ones, which I was a little bit upset about because I do love those to remove the old eye makeup, but they didn't have them. So I settled for just the round ones, 50p. Ooh. Just got my hair bands in there. How cute. So this was £10. I just thought this looked so much more expensive. This kind of gave me like Topshop Zara vibes. Um, also, it has this really cool little compartment. So you can pop all your little things in there and fasten it up. Oh my God, how I've missed these. The amount of times during lockdown I've sat and thought, I genuinely have no hair bands. Like I have zero hair bands left. I usually get a pack of these every single time I go to Primark because God knows where these go. They disappear and I don't have any left. So these are one pound and just look how many you get on that. Next, I picked myself up some new Sunny G's. I like them. Yep, I love them. Next little purchase was some stick on nails. I have been wearing these for like the last three weeks. Um, so many of you have been asking if I got my nails done. No, 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 no. It's Primark stick-ons. So yeah, if you can't get an appointment with your nail lady, like for the next foreseeable, because I have no idea how long the waiting list is gonna be for my nail lady, then these ones from Primark are unreal. They've got so many. They're one pound and they actually do last for a good few days. As long as you don't look at my nails like really closely, because when you look at them really closely, they're not great. But I feel like from afar, they just make you feel that little bit more girly. Um, I'm so used to having acrylic nails on that when I have natural nails, I just feel like I've got big stubs on my hand. Next, I picked up this cute little... Well, actually, I don't really know what to call it because, as you can see on here, you can wear it so many different ways. You can put it around your bag. Um, you can wear it as, like, a bandana. You can wear it on your wrist and you can wear it around your neck. So I just thought, how cute for the summer. £2.50, it's a lovely silky material and I just think it's such a beautiful summery colour. And then last from the accessories, I picked up some jewels. I've missed these so much. Um, these are so much more expensive on ASOS. Like in lockdown, I bought um, some little gold rings and they were like £12. And you can get a pack of bloody three from Primark for £2. I love little gold hoops at the moment. I think they're so pretty. And then I also picked up these slightly thicker ones. I thought the thicker ones would be nice as like more of a dressy going out kind of vibe. And then Primark Home, the only thing I picked up was some wicker baskets because 
I don't really need any home bits and I wasn't blown away by the home things and um, they're pretty much exactly the same as they were when Primark closed so I found that in a lot of the Primark stores that it was very much like they literally just closed and reopened which I guess they have done because what would they do with their old stock so hopefully in like a month or so there will be some new bits in there but I picked up these wicker baskets which I'm going to keep in my main bathroom just to keep like little cotton wool pads stuff like that in and there are two here a smaller one and a larger one and they are eight pounds then I also picked up these so this one is a body scrub it was three pounds fifty and oh my god these smell insane it's making me feel like I'm in center parks miss you so much center parks oh my god that smells so good um these are part of the new like natural range you know like like all the naturally things um I was so sad because I saw a picture of I think it's called the wellness range I'm not too sure you'll know what I mean but I saw this picture and they had like beautiful dressing gowns and they had like eye masks honestly in my Primark they had these and some bloody back scrubs and that's it so I was a little bit upset um I also picked up this body cream as well and this also smells absolutely unreal so nice okay i picked up loads of makeup um because i want to do a primark makeup video in the next few weeks i'm gonna wait until they've got a few more new bits because i feel like quite a lot of this is again old stock first thing i picked up was this summer storm face palette this was seven pounds but oh my gosh the shades inside just look incredible how amazing do they look so you've got some like highlight shades here then I love this like peachy blusher tone. This one here, I love like a goldy highlight. Um, so like I said, all of this makeup, I will do like a testing Primark makeup um, video as well. Oh my gosh, right. I have been going on about this for, I discovered this about, I want to say about a year ago. Um, but my favourite bronzer in the whole world ever is from Primark. And it's not actually a bronzer, it's a pressed palp can't speak a pressed powder foundation and honestly it's the most seamless beautiful bronzer like it's just amazing and it's this one ps my perfect color yeah ps my perfect color pressed foundation in shade cinnamon oh my gosh if you're looking for a new bronzer and you only want to spend two pounds this is incredible and i picked up these two gorgeous lip colors um, this one was 90p and this one was £1.50 and I also picked up these pointed white nails Is there anything more fresh than like a white nail in the summer? I picked up this highlighter because I thought it looked so pretty and everyone knows Primark highlights are literally the best This was £3 Got foundation concealer, eyebrow pencils, all stuff like that But I'm going to save them for the testing Primark makeup video just because I don't want to go through all of the makeup. I've kind of showed you the most exciting bits of makeup. My loves, we have reached the end of this post-lockdown Primark haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go back to doing these monthly now, which I'm so excited about. Um, so the next one will be in August. I'm also going to go back to doing a new in Come Shopping With Me Primark video and then a haul after that. So... Would you prefer to see that at the beginning of each month, the middle of each month? Like, when would you like to see those videos? But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in Sunday's video. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you